There it is. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Don here, your dance mentor, and welcome to the workshop series where we're going to be diving into today a special video from V8 and June, which is My Eye. And I believe this is a performance slash choreography video from them. So yeah, I'm definitely excited because, you know, we're going into more subunit territory now, I believe. Uh, or, well, technically we only went into one. And that was, um, that was the performance unit. And so I don't know if this is like a special unit in particular, but regardless, it's something new and refreshing. So yeah, um, I'm going to be dissecting the choreography, of course. We're going to watch it twice. The second time, we're going to be pausing in between a lot more and see how I feel at the end of this video. So here it is. My eye. Mm. I don't know if it's like... Was it the violin? Musicality. I love it. I love it a lot. The fact that they're utilizing a prop, like a large stretch band, as part of their choreography, um, it adds another layer and dimension to the choreography. It allows you to, you're pretty much forced to use it and really just see like different types of movement that you can create, different images, different pictures, and all that stuff. 
I will say it does remind me of Keone and Mari because they did this once in like one of their preface videos, which is really great. Again, like very highly respected dancers uh, of this generation. Um, but yeah, it does remind me of that, but it's so still, still very creative. I would even go as far as saying like, I think Sean Evaristo and Jillian Myers did something like this in the past as well. I think it was like back in like 2011 or something, but still cool. Like we don't get to see this much creativity in, in K-pop in general, in the industry. And so I'm all for this really, but yeah, let's actually dive in. Let's just take another look because it definitely deserves another look. But I think already the vibe that I'm getting is like I'm getting this, what's it called? Yin and yang kind of feeling. It's very reflection, like sort of, I, I don't know if that's the concept that they're going for. But, you know, they utilize a lot of like mirror uh, aspects of this piece, even with like the, the clothing, but still how still how still being tied to something like a like a thread, if anything. In this case, it's this little band or long band not little, that they have. Yes, even that's that little moment, just playing with, with those little bells to really just start to trickle in and just start the choreography. Ah, small of a moment. It's so, so beautiful to watch because you got like this tug of war kind of feeling. Not, I mean, not like this or, or that, but you know, they're playing with that like pulling, pushing and pulling kind of motion. And like, I don't know how far uh, that ties into the lyrics, but I'm guessing like, you know, just the overall vibe, like I'm getting that. So it's so, it's so nice to see them create pictures, not just with them themselves, but also with the band. And then we got June just creating like this little barrel turn. I love that little moment right here. Ba, ba. It's really cool. I love these little like turns when they just unravel. Like. And then we got our little dance moment here. I, it's cool because like, you know, they're not only, you know, creating, you know, so we got like our pulling or pushing and pulling. Uh, we can also create pictures. I think at one point they created like a little diamond shape or, or an hourglass. Here we have like unraveling, um, sort of like tying, like pushing, but also just like reeling in towards each other, but also unraveling out, which is really cool. You know, one thing in particular that I like about this a lot is that they're not look at one direction the whole entire time it's more so like they're always far apart or their profiles are exact opposites like they're either back against one another or you know like side to side but or or maybe even like towards each other i think it adds different directions in choreography versus like you have your standard frontal position and you're projecting to the front but here we have like this 360 experience going around these two as they dance, as the camera, you know, kind of switches angles back and forth. It's really, really nice. It gives me more, more depth to digest the choreography. Yeah. 
Mm, and then here we have like this sort of it's cool because like now like we're playing with uh i guess controlling or, or puppeteer work with these bands that they're using like before we had the leash i would call this and then here like i don't know what this is but I just love how figurative of the moment this is, how he just covers his eyes. Something about it just feels very mysterious to me. Yeah, and then like this whip now, like... <laughs> Nice little back tuck there. Okay. And this is where it's really interesting. Like, I'm, I'm like... Like, oh, and then we got our musicality moment. Just playing with sounds. Nice. Very cool. Very nice of a moment. Like, I think, you know, it's something that's very 17 of them, I would even say. Like, I love it when they break down, like, small combos here and there, especially when they're dealing with, I would, what was this? I would say 16th notes, like combos, like 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and, but it's mixed between like 1, 2, 3e and a 5, 6, 7 and a, da -da, you know, something like that. And it's very staccato as well. Like I think it's, it's just very crisp, very digestible, it's clean, and it's just, yeah, it, it's not clean just because it's you know like it's angular in some ways i would even say but it's clean because of just the sounds that they're hitting like they're only isolating themselves to certain sounds because those are the only things that they're that you pretty much hear it's like mixed with that little xylophone and also like the little drum slaps or something and here they're just reverting to a pedestrian moment sort of relaxing before they start to build back and here was nuts ah I love that So sick. It's like, you know, a mixture of, you know, down rocking, but also like some martial arts wushu, like arm swinging. It's so cool. Like, I just love how that all flows. Like they're work their way from the top and then back down onto the floor. And then we got like V8. Like, I don't know if they're both like into b-boying or anything like that, but, you know, to have that control over the flow uh, floor like that and still have flow pretty impressive his was so tight dude june's and man that's just so good so good I do wish we have artists like playing more with props, like just different dimensions of like what you can do with not just dancing with your own bodies, but dancing with a particular object and just becoming one with that sort of thing. And I love how they, 
utilized a stretch like a large band to interpret the piece to how they would want to showcase it and it works a lot and not only was it you know creative but like they're also good dancers so well done but yeah i want to know what you guys thought so let me know down in the comments below what you thought was unique or maybe something i didn't catch uh, this was a nice treat to watch i'm definitely excited to see more special performances and not just you know the whole cast of 17 because i think this is really what sets them apart it's not because of how good and clean they are as a whole group but it's the versatility in which they choose to attack different things or uh, be engaged with certain different concepts is something that I like the most. Um, and really what showcases them as like a, a capacity of what a dancer they can be. So please, yes, let me know down in the comments uh, below what you liked. I would love to know. But other than that, I know most of you guys who watch my channel are largely unsubscribed so it would definitely mean a lot if you hit that like button subscribe and also turn on notifications so you don't miss an update and i will see you guys on the next video so peace out and stay eating